Trader Joe's Healthy Snacks and Food. You know, my recent video about the healthiest snacks at Costco was really popular. So I thought I'd continue with a series at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's stores aren't in every state, but I have several patients who actually stock up when passing through a city with ATJs, well, you know, perhaps on a road trip. So I know a lot of you want to go to Trader Joe's. And I tell my own patients, Trader Joe's is great. You can save your life or kill yourself at Trader Joe's, depending on what you choose. So before we start, let me give you a big proviso. Ingredients change. That's why it's impossible, even in my books, to have a perfect yes list because brands often change ingredients due to cost cutting or supply problems. Let me give you an example. When I did my video on Costco, I'm a big fan of their pesto sauce, at which you can find at Costco. And normally it is made with olive oil. Recently, because there is a worldwide shortage of olive oil, they changed to using sunflower oil, not olive oil. Now, some alert viewers pointed that out. And sure enough, I've seen that in the past. So you've got to read the ingredients each time. What I do, quite frankly, is when they have olive oil in their pesto, I stock up and I freeze it. I have like three frozen jars of Costco Kirkland olive oil pesto in my freezer right now. But please, please, please read the ingredients list. It may be that the first or second ingredient look great, but keep reading. So with that proviso, let me give you some of the things to look for. So here's my favorite snack items at Trader Joe's. They make their own brand of 72% dark chocolate bars. They carry brands that are 90% dark chocolate bars. Now, a lot of you are going to say, but wait a minute, Dr. G, there's sugar in there, those bars. Yes, there is. Most of the chocolate bars do have some sugar. In general, the higher the percentage of cocoa in the bar, the less the sugar. I personally recommend the 90% bars, but if you're just starting out, 72% is a good place to start. Plus, read how much sugar is in the serving size. You're going to use small amounts, not eat the entire one pound bar, please. So that sugar in a serving size is actually quite tolerable. Yeah, sugar's bad for you, no doubt about it. But the fat in those bars will slow the sugar absorption. Now, they sell olive snack packs. Olives are so good for you for so many reasons, I can't begin to tell you. They're a great place to get nuts, very much like Costco. They have a very high turnover in their nuts because they're so busy. And like I said before, the higher the turnover in nuts, the safer you are that these nuts have not gone rancid. So they have macadamia nuts. You can get them salted or unsalted. A word of warning, in general, salt makes you want to eat more of them. So personally, get the unsalted. You probably won't enjoy them as much and you probably won't eat them as much. Walnuts, they have both organic and, and regular ones. In general, the rule of thumb is if something is encased in a shell, you probably have to worry less about whether it's organic or conventional because you're going to take that outside shell away. Pine nuts. Pine nuts are the other ingredient in pesto, and pine nuts are actually quite reasonable at Trader Joe's. Pistachio nuts, same thing. They have raw, they have roasted, they have salted. Word of warning, try to buy them in the shell rather than unshelled. Why? It takes you a lot longer to eat the shelled pistachios than the unshelled pistachios. 
And anything to slow you down, particularly while snacking, is a good thing. I'm a big fan, as you know, of shellfish and mollusks. And Trader Joe's is a great place to get smoked oysters, sardines, anchovies, and they're convenient and they're actually quite tasty. If you're new to sardines, Trader Joe's sells boneless, skinless sardines. And they're a great place to start to get interested in the benefits of sardines without being turned off by the bones and skin. Although the bones and skin are some of the best ways to get bioabsorbable calcium into your diet. Next up, plain goat yogurt. Trader Joe's has a wonderful plain goat yogurt. Don't get the flavored varieties. Look for plain and look for goat. As you probably know from the energy paradox, from gut check, goat and sheep yogurt, about 30% of the fat is medium chain triglycerides, which are great for doing a caloric bypass. So get yourself goat yogurt at Trader Joe's. They also usually have jicama sticks and jicama wraps. This is a great way to add fiber to your diet and I think jicama sticks are the perfect dipping chip for getting guacamole into your life. And by the way, Trader Joe's carries a guacamole that has no tomatoes in it. Once again, guacamole is not supposed to have tomatoes. It's called avocado's number, which is a play on words of avocado's number. But look for it. It's delicious. Get yourself some jicama sticks and you're off. They carry goat feta cheese, but they carry a large number of feta cheeses that are made from cow's milk. So just because it says feta cheese on the label at Trader Joe's doesn't mean that it's the one you're looking for. You got to look at the label and see that it says goat and or sheep milk because they have like four or five varieties that say feta cheese that are actually made of cow's milk. Similarly, Trader Joe's increasingly is bringing really good cheeses from Europe, feta cheeses from Europe, sheep cheeses like Menchengo or Pecorino cheeses from Spain or Italy, and a large number of safe cheeses from France, which are come from raw cow's milk of an A2 variety. So again, look at the label, look where it came from. Just because it says Brie cheese doesn't mean it came from France. You've got to find out the country of origin. They also have artichoke snack packs, and they also have artichoke hearts. They're both canned, and personally, I like the frozen ones in a bag in the freezer. It makes eating artichokes and having artichoke hearts a whole lot easier. Finally, they have frozen okra. Okra is one of my favorite foods. It binds lectins. It feeds gut buddies. I can't say enough about it. I have recipes on the YouTube channel for baked okra chips, which is unbelievably delicious. It makes it so easy because it's frozen and you don't have to wait for okra season. Now, they have a number of condiments and pastas that are really good for you, too. They have their own Trader Joe's Spanish olive oil in glass. They have Sicilian olive oil in glass. They have kohlrabi noodles. They have coconut cream and milk, but get the unsweetened variety. They have cauliflower gnocchi. It's in the frozen aisle, and it's actually remarkably safe. They have coconut aminos, which are a great replacement for soy sauce. They have a variety of mustards, and they have a great variety of vinegars, all of which will improve your salad makings. Now, they also have really convenient, primarily frozen proteins. They usually have frozen wild salmon. 
they usually have frozen wild langostinos. They usually have frozen wild shrimp, but buyer beware, right next to them are farmed raised shrimp. So you gotta read the label. Now things to avoid. In general, I've talked about this before, please try to avoid buying bagged salads. One of the things that concerns me is that these things stay fresh, often for weeks at a time, long before it should have rotten. And there's something in that stuff that's preventing them from doing that. So if a fungus or bacteria isn't interested in eating your bag of lettuce, you probably shouldn't be interested in eating that bag of lettuce either. Stay away from the okra chips. They're fried in rice bran oil. I love okra, stay away from their chips. Same way with the plantain chips. Always look for what the oil is used. Unfortunately, right now they're using palm oil. Couple reasons, it's a really nasty saturated fat. It's not palm fruit oil, which is different. And if you've been paying attention, there's been tremendous deforestation in Indonesia and Singapore to cut down rainforests to plant palm trees for their oil. So that's just a bad move for everybody. Thanks for watching, but don't go anywhere. The next episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast is waiting for you now. You got to be careful with MCT oil. If you start too quickly, many women get feelings of nausea, get loose bowel movements, even diarrhea. So work your way up.